Hey YouTube, what's up? I network here or Network Hacker TV. So today I'm going to be making this quick YouTube video and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that little edgy effect around the borders of your YouTube background that I have been doing lately. Now it's something I actually figured out by myself. I did not follow this tutorial or nothing. And um, I was very fortunate to find this out so I can share it with you guys. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it. Now where I get my backgrounds from or the templates is from mytubedesign.com and for the background um, I'm giving all credit to this website. I'm going to have the link in the description. Go check it out. So I chose this uh, background that they um, pre-made called Dream Rose and it's best to choose a background with uh, a straight um, you know, border, not something edgy if you will. And um, it doesn't matter what's in the background because we can always change that. So I already have it open in Photoshop and I already edited, um, edited it for you guys and I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So first what you want to do is you want to go to open and select your background. It should open up. Alright, okay. So I'm going to open it again. And then here we have our basic background. Now to edit it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to double click the background layer. Make that into um, a layer. Then you want to go up and go to filter, brush strokes. And you can choose any one you want. Um, but I select sprayed strokes. And then sprayed strokes is basically the edgy effect. There are different kinds of this. But that's the best one. You'll have the best results. Um, this is another type called splatter. It has more of a splatter effect instead of the, the edgy effect. But I like the edgy diagonal type thing. So just select OK and then you have your background. Now if you want to change the colors of it, you want to go up and go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation or just hit CTRL and U. Now you can change the um, slider and you can choose what color you want. So um, I'm using this greenish blue, I mean greenish yellow. It's very attractive to me and um, has a nice color. But if you um, change, you know, if you add the edgy effect, then it does, you know, type crosses out or blurs the actual logo for my tube design. So I suggest giving them credit because everybody knows that it's from their actual website. So give, please give them credit and um, just write over the text, just write um, from iTubeDesign.com or just you know copy and paste the logo or something like that that you can do. But give them credit because their work is not yours. You just edited it. So it's best to give them credit and you know, not get accused of anything. So once our background is done, you want to go ahead and go to File and select Save As. Save it as anything you want, but I, um, I suggest saving it as a JPEG where you get to choose the file size and the quality. So select Save and then hit OK if that comes up. Now you see uh, YouTube's background it has a maximum of 256 um, kilobytes, which is for the file size. So you just want to go right under that as close as you can get. So 291, all right. So 183 is the closest I can get before passing over the 256K limit. So 183 is fine. And you can also add text, but I'm just saving it like this. Select OK. And there you go. Your background should be on your desktop and ready to use. But um, go ahead and edit it more. The more you edit it, the lower the quality will be um, depending on the file size but that's really it so thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and have a nice day